How's it going, Chip Trap? It's me, Chips, back with another episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. In the last episode, <laughs> some things went down, uh, as you can see, by uh, this guy who's following us, not even walking, just floating around. Uh, Lord Magus, aka Prince Janus himself, joined the party, and uh, we got uh, an egg that was called the, guess what, Chrono Trigger, name of the game, still don't know why it's called that, but, um, yes, we, uh, we got that, and we have to, we had to go to a sorcerer who was at a festival, turns out it was the floating head that I freaked out about at the beginning of the game, um, but we gotta get some silver points to play, so, uh, welcome everyone to episode 2 of Chrono Trigger, we are, uh, just playing some carnival games. Um, so you guys told me that fighting Luca's robot is the best way, which I believe is this dude. Yes, they call me Gato. I have metal joints. If you can beat me up, you'll earn 15 points. Well, Gato, uh, I think we can, I think we can beat you. Yeah. Yeah. So let's do it again. I probably only need to do it two times. Oh no, I have lost! And it seems you've won. Here, you have 15 points. Now, <laughs> wasn't that fun? It was fun enough to do it again. What? Oh! Is my, my face cam disconnected for a second? Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? The Gato Metal Joins beat me up 15 points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should actually look at what, uh... Lightning... Oh! Well. That's fun. Oh! Oh! Alright! Alright, give me my 15 points. I'll do it one more time just to be safe. Um, cause we have a bunch from doing the, the freaking thing, but the hitting the, the bell, whatever that's called, I don't even, the test of strength, I think it's called, something like that, but this is like, come on, <laughs> why not do this? Easiest thing in the world. Alright, and now, it is time to, come on, come on. It is time to talk to the freaky disembodied hand. Disembodied head and hands. It's both. Uh, oh, he's down a level. Right, right, right. Dude, this is crazy. And they're like, yo, remember that carnival at the beginning? You gotta go back. Welcome to Norstein Beckler's Tent of Horrors. The spine tingling show is about to start. So, you want a double doll of Chrono normally. I wouldn't give out another person's doll, but today I'll make an exception. 40 silver points. I'll give you the doll even if you lose the game, but it'll cost you. The longer you stay, the longer you stay in the game, the lower my price will be. Yeah, let's play. Mimic what you see. L Left, R, right, A, surprise, Y, laugh. Okay. A, surprise, Y, laugh, left, or right. Left, right, A, Y. Oh, how do I... I... I understand. Okay. Oh! Start when you hear the signal after I move. And action. Uh, surprise. Oh, A was surprised. You don't have enough money. Do I, don't tell me I have to get silver points again. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Beckler. Okay. Play the game. Oh, I messed up the first one. Okay, okay, okay. So A is surprise. Y is laugh. Got it. Got it. Let me just beat up this robot a few more times. 
Oh boy. Alright, alright. I could cut this out, but you guys want to miss some sweet, sweet action of freaking Magus beating people? Does he have equipment? Does he have like a sword? A cool sword? The Moonfall Scythe! 120! Well, okay. So, so the Demon Slayer is also 120, so it's not as broken as I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, give me your stuff. You gotta leave and come back. Alright, Gator, let's go. I could have done this off screen, admittedly, a, couple, a bunch of times and just gotten a whole bunch of silver points, but then you guys would miss out on this amazingly fun little mini game here. Alright, yeah, yeah, Gato, I get it. I want to beat you again in one shot. It's not hard. Okay. Was that three times? I think that was three times. Well, we're about to find out. Yeah. Oh! I got caught in a tree and it pushed me back. Okay. Get out of the way, dude. I'm trying to play Simon Says so I can win a doll of my dead friend. Alright? Alright, dude. Yeah, Norstein Beckler, do your thing. Play the game. A is surprise and Y is laugh. And then left and right. Got it. And action. A. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, we're doing it again. I'm killing this. You're gonna have to end up paying me for this doll. That's how well I'm gonna do. Oh! <laughs> Immediately. 30,000 bucks. Whatever. You're sending it to Cronus. I'm right here. You can just give it to me. Okay, well... Uh, I, <laughs> I could have done better, but the the moment I was like, man, I got this. It was over. It was over. Which of these is Chrono's house? Res is this just one of the residents? Are you Chrono's mom? No. The cathedral. Man, I remember going to the cathedral way back when. You Chrono's family? No, okay. He's just going to the... Chrono, where do you live? The mayor's manor. Does Chrono live like down here? I think it's Luca's house. Yeah. Where does Chrono live? My man. Where does my guy Chrono live? Oh, Chrono. There were two houses there. Okay. Where is this? No. Chrono, where is your family? I'm pretty. Yo! Chrono has a cat? Oh, I thought the cat was following us for a second. Oh my god. Well, that's unsettling. Oh, hello! Is Chrono alright? He... He's great. Better than great. Well, I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. You tell him I said, uh, to behave himself, alright? Listen, um... Yes? We're gonna borrow this doll, alright? Go right ahead, dear. She, so she's just totally chill about a life-sized doll of her son, who she hasn't seen in months, probably, just showing up here. You stay out of trouble now. Well, we're about to go kill Satan. So, uh, does that count? Is that kind of staying out of trouble? Okay, what were we supposed to do with the doll? Um, bring it to the death mountain. But, um... I don't... Is there anything here to... Ex okay. 
This is a game changer, by the way. Can we, like, go to these islands we haven't been to yet? Dude, we totally- Yo! Okay. Um... I don't remember where this, like, mountain of death was. But... I kind of want to explore. No, no, no. How do I go down? Sun Shrine. Oh, we need a Moonstone to bring there. We heard about in Zeal. Don't know where to get that, but I think we... I know we're trying to bring Chrono back. Uh, and he's probably uh, in some sort of crazy alternate reality or whatever. But uh, I want to explore the West Cape. Look at this. The West Cape ain't gonna... Oh. Here lies the great explorer Toma Levine. Sixth of third moon. 63 or 634. So if we go before 634, we can probably meet that person. What was her name? Levi? Something Levi? Just Toma Levi. Have we met Toma? I feel like we have. Maybe not. I feel like I was a kid, maybe. Uh, but let's explore. The mayor's place is popping. Oh my god. Huh. You're thinking of visiting those ruins. I'd stay away if I were you. They're quite dangerous. What, with all the structural damage underground? Are you the mayor? There's an old structure in the north. It, uh, it's laying in ruin for centuries. Okay. They say ghosts look in the ruins. Everyone's talking about the ruins to the north. That may, That's making me want to go. Have you heard? Uh, talk has it those ruins in the north are haunted. Seems like they're ghost sightings. How? Oh, okay. Oh my god, you're still going? <laughs> Spirits uh, with lingering worldly attachments are drawn to those sorts of places. Well. Uh, my boy is dead, so... The anguish and torment of spirits forms is almost tangible. A cloud around the ruins and... Okay. How the black omen sh uh, shines in the sun. Tomorrow should be a beautiful day as well. What is that guy talking about? Edgar Allan Poe over there. Well, no, he would never say tomorrow is going to be a beautiful day. Uh, what is this? Chores in. Sure. Sure! Imagine if a frog, the princess, and Magus just, like, show up and are like, Oh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll spend the night. And they're just like, oh, yeah, all right. Give me another mug. Sir, I think you've had quite enough already. Who are you telling me I've had enough? What's worth, uh... Oh, you're worse than the wife. What's wrong with a carpenter having a few pints in the afternoon, eh? This guy sucks. Have you heard? Have you heard of the ghost, I mean? Uh, yes, I have. Okay, random stranger. Oh, the young ones are off at the Millennial Fair. Kids these days. They're just gluttons for fun. Dude, that's me. A glutton for fun? Uh, the grave of the great explorer Toma. It's on the Western Cape. Uh, even... Oh! I do... He was the explorer. Not a single sale yet. And I came all the way from poor. Please, won't you buy something? Oh. What do you have? Just... Okay. Well, no. Sorry, dude. I'm not gonna buy anything. Alright, so these guys are all, this is just like the classic RPG, like, go to the town, people will tell you about a place, you gotta go to the place. Oh, uh, ma'am, I am, I feel bad for you. Hey, nursing drinks, well, wait, just wait till he comes home. He'll be nursing a sore jaw then, yeah, that's right. Uh, you wanna be a carpenter like your dad? Kid, your dad seems like he kinda sucks. Uh, Okay. So, it seems like that's it for this little town. But, oh, these are ruins then. Northern ruins. Alright. 
Uh, kind of thought we'd be. Is this a? Are you a bad guy? Arr! How strong are you, Cyrus? What? Do I have to magic these people? I might have to magic them. Okay, that did some kind of decent damage. Uh, I'm gonna guess lightning because you're yellow. And water because that's all that frog has. Zero! Oh, I gotta click it. <laughs> um, so are you immune to magic or just lightning? Okay, well, this is going well. All right. My sword is, uh, to no avail. Ian. Cyrus? Tis I, Glenn! Ugh. Glenn? Ugh! Oh my god. What is going on? Okay, are we... Don't go that way then? Oh, we can't go here. Hold up, so you guys said if I explore around, I can get backstory on some people. And just, I think by my pure, just sheer love of Frog and all things that he does. How do I... Is there like a... Is there like a... It is me! Here, I'll, I'll slurp him. Oh wait. I'll slurp slash him. That'll make him remember, right? Huh. It is me! Frog, your friend! Okay. So there's something I'm missing. I probably need some item. To be like, yo, Cyrus, my dude. It's me, your friend. There's no veil. When? Cyrus, tis I, Glenn! Ugh, Glenn! Grr, okay. So we can't do this yet, it seems, but I will freaking remember this. I'll come back. Okay, so, um, here I believe we went everywhere we can, because we've got... This, what is this thing again? Forest Ruins. What? My pendant! Oh. Tell me this just brings Chrono back. Okay. Oh! One of these dudes. The seal is broken! I will give you a treasure crafted by the Guru of Reason himself. To your right is a weapon which enhances your which will enhance your strength. To the left is protective gear which will guard your life. Think well and choose whichever you need the most. Thirteen thousand years was a very long time. Balthazar, I go to you now. Awesome. So, do we want the weapon or the gear? Enhanced strength, enhanced defense. I feel like... The defense is the smart way to go? I'm gonna go with the defense. The Guardian Helm. How good is it? It's pretty good. Auto protect? What does that mean? Oh, you need something better. There we go. Platinum helm on Marl. Alright, well, that was sick. We're just knocking out these little side events one by one. Uh, yeah, so nothing over there. So I think this island we basically ex Oh, don't want to go there yet. Don't want to go there yet. So this island we have not been to in this time or there's just nothing 
here. No, no, there's stuff here. Oh, we got, okay. I'm gonna just land my spaceship in the middle of this town, blow everyone's eyes. Oh, poor! This is where this dude said he was from. 20 bucks paid in advance. No, I'm, we're fine. We're fine. Snail stop? Uh, some monsters can coexist with humans. Take that piano player, for instance. That, what's his name? Specchio? Something like that? Uh, I've got some spiced jerky, but I'm saving it for a special occasion. Uh, I'm gonna let some go? Sure. I'm guessing that's important. Four centuries ago, a woman named Fiona died trying to revive the great forest that once flourished in the north. It's a sad tale. I'm, I think we gotta go do that then. Four centuries ago. Uh, I don't know what year it is currently, but... What was that with the festival? Bunch of lazy sots. Dang. I'm the piano man! What do you uh, want me to play? Uh, play some upbeat. Oh! I love it. I love it. Oh, okay. Um, oh, I can't go on the, the ship? Alright. What are some other buildings I can go in? Snail stop, no. Just this guy over... Mayor's Manor? That's, okay, there's not a whole lot here. Except we gotta go four centuries in the past to... Bring the forest back. I hate my dad more than anything in the whole world. Oh, that's a shame. Dad loves money more than he loves. Oh, okay, so it's just a crappy father. <laughs> I run this town and I'm so rich, I don't know what to do with it all. Give you ten bucks if you spin around three times and cluck like a chicken. Ten bucks? No. Dude, shut up, mayor. The children are slipping away from us. It's so painful to see. Probably because their dad is, like, a self-proclaimed terrible person. Everybody says dad is greedy. That's not so... Uh, that's not true, is it? Mm, I think it's true. Also, I'm going to take your stuff. A white vest? And a black vest. Huh. Um... Absorb 50%. Oh... Oh. Huh. That could be good. But everything we have is better. If we run into someone who's like, yo, this person uses a lot of light attacks, then I'll throw it on. Okay. So I believe, um, so four centuries in the past, is yeah middle ages I'm going back here we gotta meet someone who's trying to revive the forest what is that what is that sunken desert oh my god there's so much stuff all right you know what oh wait that's it I shouldn't be going in here, should I? Well, that's definitely a trap. Oh my god. Okay. Yo, frog has got protect? What does that do? I should have done another magic to kill everyone. But it's fine. I thought, I kind of assumed Magus would just kill everyone. Oh! So what does Protect do? He still took damage. Um, uh, I gotta get Ice 2 on Marl somehow. How much health does this dude have? Vine a pillar. Oh my god. Here we go. Okay. 
I feel like I should probably... Oh, we got a lapis. Okay, so we got like moving floors. This seems like a dungeon, which seems like I should stop. Also, uh, this is the person who's trying to bring back the forest, right? As Marco is probably home from the war, I'm so relieved. Do you wanna? Worry not, my love. We won't be parted again. So I hear you wanna revive the woods? Anything I plant dies before it even has a chance to grow. It's the work of monsters. Okay, so go into the desert to bring the forest back. This young tree is uh, one that has been cultivated through the ages, mysteriously resilient. That could surely restore the desert to a, a verdant land. But I daren't plant so small a sapling out there now. Uh, not with all the monsters nesting in that cave. Okay, so seems like in the next episode we have our mission. Go into the sunken desert uh, and bring this, uh, bring this desert back to life. Make it a forest. Uh, I have a feeling we've got a lot of side quests in the future. We still have that Cyrus thing we gotta wrap up somehow. We got, and then that, this is going to, look, we've got, we've got probably a bunch of others, look, all those islands we haven't explored in this age. We've got this, we've got this, uh, that, maybe we don't, <laughs> we don't have to go to, I don't know. We got the future to go back to. Dude, we have a lot, no, 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 we have a lot left to do in this game, but I think I'm going to end off this episode right here. So if you guys did enjoy, as always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Tune in next time where we're bringing a force back. Like we are going to once again get sidetracked from bringing our friend back to life, I guess. But I will see you guys in the next episode. But until then, don't forget to take it easy.